Okay, in this lecture series, I'm going to show you some identifications for verticillium wilt so you can determine if you're seeing this in your um, grow operation. So the identification, well, it's a soil-borne fungus that can survive for 4 to 15 years depending on conditions. What makes this a little concerning is that either, even under unfavorable conditions, verticillium can last for 4 years, and under more favorable, 15. How it will look on the leaves, you kind of get this kind of half the leaf kind of turning this yellow, ultimately curly, and getting a little bit of burn associated with it. Under the microscope, it's got this distinctive cluster-like look with these circles, almost like grapes at the um, kind of appearance of that occurs. Now, where to look for verticillium? Well, first off, you want to inspect the roots because this is soil-borne. However, in addition to that, um, if you have a plant that's suspected of having this, you can cut the stem on the plant um, that's thought to be infected is recommended. The reason why this is because this is a vascular disease. So while it does enter the root, it goes through the vascular system. And there can be discoloration found, as we see here. Verticillium can infect the xylem of the plant as little as 24 hours. So it can be a very quick and aggressive fungus. Wilting may only occur on part of the plant, as it can be vascular system specific. What this means is it may only enter a portion of the xylem, indicating half the plant will kind of wilt and the other half will look just fine. This shows kind of the specificity of this disease uh, that can occur. Rather, just the whole plant going down, if it only gets into one particular bundle of xylem, only a portion of the plant may wilt. And if you cut the plant, you may see these distinctive rings, and that's, again, indication potentially of having verticillium wilt. How to prevent it? Well, the fungus can survive in soil for long periods with or without plant material present. So that's really not good news for growers. Know um, your chosen media source. Make sure it's reliable. Uh, in newly opened containers is strongly encouraged. I mean, don't be reusing or having very old containers hanging around for very long. Prevention is also the only uh, reliable method of control for this fungus. This kind of gives you an idea what it looks like under the microscope. Um, how to control it? Well, there is limited control once infection occurs. Sorry, there's no real good news there. Some fungicides may help, but it should not be really relied upon for a cure for this problem. Again, it shows you a little bit of kind of the leaf, uh, how the leaf kind of structure will kind of look and wilt and yellow. And if you do cut into that stem, you typically will see that uh, brown region because it is transported through the xylem, which is in the vascular system of the plant. So while there's no great control, prevention is the name of the game with verticillium wilt.